So if MSAT is selling 35 kilos of organic manure at 1,000 shillings, yes. and is buying 50 kilos of feed at 2,900, yes. then it simply means that you're buying a kilo of food at 1,900. Hey, Bana. This is where I want this channel to take you. That is what AIM Agribusiness or AfriChick is all about. Numbers, simple, brilliant ideas, no entertainment. You watch our channel, you get connections of such. I'm really impressed. Thank you. We are here today to take you through a gas brooding system. Farming made easy, farming made juicer and just made beautiful. It is a simple farm in Kericho County. When you hear about Kericho, you just don't think of tea leaves. You just don't think of guys are also doing wonders. It's a beautiful farm on a small scale, producing organic fertilizer and much, much, much more eggs and vegetables. This is a simple system of gas production or a biodigester. My name is Antonio Innocent Mdongi, a poultry expert. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and each time you get an educative video. So this one is a collection chamber. Money will be brought from the farm, then it will be put here, impurity is removed and mixing is done to create a slurry. Then the slurry will flow down all the way to this chamber. I, I'm joined by the farm manager who is also the expert in this system, Mr. Sylvester Ngire. He will also take us through where we shall have the gaps in this. So Mr. Sylvester, like you mentioned to me, yes. the gas will come, the, the slurry will flow into this. Yes, the balloon. What is this, kindly? This is the balloon bi biodigester. So this is the balloon biodigester. So the slurry will accumulate here. Yes. Maybe it will take how many days in order for the gas to start being formed? So once uh, the slurry is inside the balloon, mm -hmm. what we do here, just allow, because the fermentation has already taken place from the previous accumulation of the bio slurry. Mm -hmm. So we allow mm -hmm. for about four to five hours. Mm -hmm. And this one is supported by the daily conditions. Mm -hmm. That's the sun condition. Mm -hmm. If the weather is hot, mm -hmm. then the gas can be able to build up faster as compared when it is cool. Wow. Thank you. So is there a way, okay, is this gas sufficient for you or you have extra gas or surplus? Yeah, actually, uh, this biodigester mm -hmm. is 40 millimeters cubic. Mm -hmm. And so this means that uh, we are producing here a lot of the gas. Mm -hmm. So in a day, mm -hmm. the gas that is here can be able to brood mm -hmm. the whole system mm -hmm. uh, from 7 in the evening mm -hmm. to even 10 in the morning. The same gas supports the staff for mm -hmm. cooking. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. And Mr. Sylvester is doing, I don't know, as much as I'm an experienced poultry farmer yes. and a poultry expert, this system of brooding, it's one of its own kind. Guys, it is cheap, it is very efficient. You mentioned to me before we started this interview yes. that the gas will collect. Yes. So from here? Uh -huh. so as you can be able to look at this balloon, eh, uh -huh. have exerted sacs. Okay. Those sacs contain soil inside so that they can be able to exert some weight mm -hmm. on the balloon. Mm -hmm. So that weight pushes the gas to flow mm -hmm. through this pipe mm -hmm. and then uh, it flows continuously mm -hmm. up the chamber so it's connected for cooking mm -hmm. and for brooding. Wow. Yes. So, if I may ask, yes. do you feel daily, like you mix the the manure daily and keep topping up the slurry yes. or you have got a certain volume that you have to attain use that then when it's over you get it off or basically how uh, does it go uh, what happens here mm -hmm. because uh, the usage of gas mm -hmm. is required daily mm -hmm. and so the utilization of this gas is normally utilized in a uh, larger quantities so what we do have to ensure that we, we mix here daily so this one ensures that uh, we maintain the amount of gas that is required to support the system of the farm on a daily basis. So mixing is a daily. Wow. Yes. Wow. And early in the morning. Wow. Yes. So how are you able to monitor the levels of the slurry inside the balloon? Yes. Because if you keep doing it daily, yes. then uh, I'm sure one of my viewers would ask, won't one day the, won't the slurry one day fill the balloon and you'll have nowhere 
for gas production. How is it done? So, uh, briefly how are you able to? Yeah. Sorry for cutting you short. Yes. Like in a nutshell. Yes. How are you able to monitor the levels of the slurry yes. inside, and when are you able to know when to get rid of the slurry? Yeah, inside here, uh -huh. what I can be able to explain in brief uh -huh. is not that uh, how we get out the slurry. Uh -huh. This system is uh, it generates the slurry itself. Wow. So once we fill this uh, mixer, the slurry flows, flows in. Eh? Uh -huh. The previous layer which was uh, in the balloon, mm -hmm. it has already been used, it mm -hmm. has already been digested. Mm -hmm. So there's an extra pipe on the other side which allows that wastage or uh, that usage slurry to flow itself from the balloon. So, wow. So it simply means this is like a pipe. Yes. The waste will come, yes. be mixed, yes. flows into the balloon. Yes. The gas is generated. Yes. The the manure slurry. that has already formed the slurry yes. will just leave yeah, the balloon by itself. By it, itself. it flows out. Yes, flows out. Wow. Yes. This is such an amazing technology and we are impressed. So where do you take the slurry? Uh, this slurry, it is productive. Mm -hmm. Given that now we are producing vegetables, Sure. Uh, we are doing here a lot of organic farming. So this slurry is collected. One, it may be used for mixing of a manure from the poultry houses which is used in the fertilizer plant to allow also digestion or uh, decomposition of that fertilizer to take place. Two, we just channel it in the farm so that it can be able to boost, to boost our vegetables. Guys remember, at MSAT farm you buy a bag of 20 kilos organic manure. No other artificial fertilizers added to it, no right? No other artificial fertilizers. Let me be specific on this. Put your order. You get a bag of organic poultry manure, which is very good for your vegetables, by the way. Because, you know, when you use chemical fertilizers on your vegetables, these are products that you, every time you put it on your table and you consume it within a short period of processing. You know, most of the vegetables are not cooked for very long hours because of expelling of vitamins. It's good that you use organic manure. And... Mr. Sylvester, who's the manager at EMSA, just assured me that he can deliver anywhere, anywhere in Kenya, yes. your fertilizer. Yes. All you need to do is put an order, I've shared his number, give him a call, put your order, and you purchase, which is 800 shillings. 800 shillings per 20 kg bag. Plus your shipment price, and it will be shipped up to where you are. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you very much. So from here now, the gas will go into the brooder yes. and then be distributed to the, to the other house, the residence, uh, the residence mm -hmm. for the staff cooking, mm -hmm. even the owners of the farm. Wow. Use the gas. Wow. Yes. Wow. Maybe you can see the excesses flowing into your vegetable garden, yes. which is quite amazing. I can see you're doing some kales yes. and they're very healthy. So all this is organic. No fertilizer. No fertilizer. What about control of pests? Uh, here, the conditions that we have in the farm, we rarely encourage pests to stay within the farm. The farm, as you can be able to see, it's very clean. There are no uh, weeds. And you know, in farming of crops, weeds do harbor a lot of pests. But as you can see, this farm, everywhere you can be able to check, no weeds have accumulated. Wow. So pests have done with them away. This is real agribusiness. This is real agribusiness. And this is where money is lying. True. You can imagine how much cost to incur in buying of charcoal. That is even degrading the environment. Cutting trees, producing charcoal for brooding. And even you produce carbon monoxide that chokes and reduces yes. and increases the mortalities in the brooder. There's free gas here. You can imagine. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the numbers. Eh? We were just doing some math in the office with you. Yes. And he's buying a bag of flares mash at 2,900. From that, he'll get waste of 35 kilos. So we're assuming that from a 50 kgs bag, 15 kilos will be uh, absorbed into the system of the bird and be used for production and growth. Yes. So he'll get a waste of 35 kilos. Then he'll process this into organic manure. Yes. Actually, it will come through the biodiesta, produce slurry, then be taken to the fertilizer plant, which we'll just show you. 
and then be dried and processed into organic manure. Yes. Then he sells 35 kilos of organic manure at 1,400 shillings. Yes. So you got free gas, which you have used in the brooder. Yes. So you're not spending anything on buying the charcoal? No, even power. Oh my goodness. You're only using uh, electricity and solar for lighting. Yes. But the rest, gas. Gas. So there's no cost for paying power to heat coils, and there's no cost for buying charcoal, yes. and even buying the jikos. You've processed fertilizer. You're selling at 1,400. Yes. So we say this guy is going to spend the extra 400 shillings in paying of labor yes. and paying of electricity that will run the motors yes. to dry and process the fertilizer. So he's, left, he's remaining the profit of a thousand shillings. So if MSAT is selling 35 kilos of organic manure at 1,000 shillings, yes. and he's buying 50 kilos of feed at 2,900, yes. then it simply means that you're buying a kilo of food at 1,900. Hey, Bana. This is where I want this channel to take you. That is what... AIM Agribusiness or AfriChick is all about. Numbers, simple, brilliant ideas, no entertainment. You watch our channel, you get connections of such.